hello guys how are you doing today um this is joseph from joe concept welcome to another quick tip another tutorial all right um lately we've been looking at rigging and we looked at how to rig rig the spine how to rig the hand and also the leg so in this tutorial um, i will call this quick tip because this is this doesn't really take long well, I'll try my best to explain what I can explain. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mirror a rig to the other side. So it doesn't really make sense you rigging a particular hand also rigging the other hand of the same character. It is better for you to just rig one part of your character than mirror the rig to the other side. So that is what we're going to be looking at in this tutorial. And the good thing with this technique I'm going to show you is that um, this technique is going to not only mirror the bones, it's also going to mirror the weight that you have, the weight tags that you have to the other side. And every other external tags, like your IK tags, everything, will also be mirrored. Your controllers will be mirrored. So that is why I feel that this technique is very, very important and useful. So, um, how do we do that? First of all, I need you to look here in my object manager you notice the naming convention that i have i start started with l meaning this is my left root leg left hinge left nail left ankles and so on and so forth so you notice for the hand you also have the left shoulder elbow and the reason why i'm doing this if you look at the controller you have your left ankle be left wrist so the reason why i'm having this <clears throat> Sorry, the reason I'm having this naming style is because by the time I run the command, it's going to also help me to replace this with something else. Maybe replace the L with R so that I have right. So I will know which one is which. I hope you understand why this is important. So you should try as much as to name your bones and everything correctly before you can continue in this process. Oh, by the way, for this um, model, if you need this model, um, I'm going to put down a link in the description. I'm not going to give you a um, same file this time. You go to the site and download the model and you can follow along. But if you have your model, you can just continue with that. All right. So if you notice in the previous tutorial, I used R21. But now in this, something happened to my system. I had to reset my PC for me to back so i quickly installed r20 for me to talk about this tutorial for me to drop this tutorial so in this version i don't know what is happening i noticed that if i select my weight manager and try and select the weights and the model going to the joints i'm not having all my weights displayed they are not displayed so Another way you can display that temporarily or if that is not showing is you going over to your display menu in your weights manager then checking the point. So if you check this point it shows you your weight. If you notice this weight is not filled in and also here if I'm to bring my wrist go and I move you notice that the deformation is not really fine. I'm having some artifacts somewhere here and also if I do that at my, with my ankle you also notice that this model is breaking you can see from here it's breaking and that doesn't make sense so but when I'm done we're going to I'm going to show you a technique on how to smoothing all this thing an automatic smooth for this all right so let's go into the tutorial <clears throat> Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is to mirror this um, leg setup to the other side. So I will select the leg, which is this hinge. Then I will go over to my character. This is the tool that we're looking at. So we go to your mirror tool. Coming over to your attribute manager, you have a direction which shows you the direction of your mirror. So right now, the default is giving us world, and that is perfect for us the reason why it's perfect for us is because our model is um, at the center of the world so if you look at it the model is at the center of the world so this is 
the perfect option to use but that doesn't mean there are no options so if you click here you have your selected you have your roots your parents all object so if you choose object for instance that means you have to put in the object into this field and you can now choose to what mirroring direction you want so but in this case <clears throat> we are going to be making use of world so that means first off you need to make sure that your model is at the center of the world and it's symmetrical also at that so so once you have that checked you go to your option this is just telling you the target what you want you want to have a clone of it and also it's going to freeze your transformation once it's mirrored going to the property these are the things it's going to additional things going to mirror you have your weight you have your point it mirrors the points and position and these are just things that is going to happen so going to the naming tab here remember i said when i named this i added this l so i can just say i want to replace l with r so what this will mean is that the mirrored copy <coughs> will replace anywhere it has l with r so we can just say l underscore so anywhere it says l underscore replace it with r underscore all right so that i think that is self-explanatory and also for your weight out nothing here but the only thing here is just that if the only thing you want to mirror is just the weight um weight tag you can just mirror the weights but since we want to mirror both the bones and the weights so you go to the tool and you click on mirror notice also that children is checked so if i want to check this and i click on mirror it's only going to mirror the hinge but if i activate this that means every children under it is going to also be mirrored and i think that is the best option to choose in this case so once we are done with this you click on mirror it's going to mirror to the other side so you can already see this set up for you if you look up you have your l ankle that we had before you also have your r ankle meaning if you go to your r ankle you can move that is also set all right so the same thing is what we're going to do for the hand so you scroll down to where you have your hand which is your left shoulder then you rerun the mirror tool every other thing is set because you've already done that so remember that setting mirror then it also mirrors this so you click on mirror it mirrors this to the other end so now that is pretty much it with the mirror so notice we've had all this if you come down you have your r shoulder l shoulder you have your r hinge and l hinge everything is set up for you also your ik tag are also set up that's why we can move the controller and move you can see and you can see this artifact here yeah? you can see that this is not weighed properly so how can we smoothen all this the reason why this is we're having that is because we have a sharp transition so once this move it stops here so we need to smoothen everything together so for us to do that what we're going to do is we go to our best friend which is our weight manager so once we go to the weight manager and I want to come here so you can see how it fills in this. So once you go to your weight manager, first thing you want to select all your weight. Okay, so all right, so let's see what we have. So we select this weight tag. That's the first thing before you go to your weight manager. Then go into the joint section, you have all your bones. So you select all the bones, hold down shift. And you have all the bones selected that is very important you have to have all the bones selected because you want to smoothen all the bones at the same time we don't have to do them individually then you go to the command then you want to change from absolute to smooth then you don't want 100 just start with 50 percent then apply all just look here if i click on apply all smoothens this and you notice the transition and if you look through notice this this effect is not applying to everything that means you have to keep clicking it and the smoothness keep going until it fills up your object so once everything is fine and that's good so you can go back to the display turn off that then if you go back to your right ankle sorry right wrist and move you notice that this is now smooth you don't have that sharp transition anymore 
Can you see that? See how wonderful this is. See how cool and fast this is. So that's how you can quickly automate your mirror and also smoothing your weight and all that. So and uh, I think that's pretty much it for this. And I feel if you feel that this was helpful, please I want you to give me a thumbs up. Um, like the video share it with your friends that you feel know needs this and also if you feel you need any other thing that i should talk about please leave that in the description below and if you feel you have a better option or better way please i'm also learning i would appreciate you also put that in the description so we all learn together so that is very much it for this tutorial i want you to have a wonderful day god bless you bye